everybody, welcome back to Wet the Face, glad you're here, and uh, today we have a new product to release um, in a different format. Uh, we have uh, the Quiet Man in the Tallow version. So this is the last of the four that we're going to be releasing this year, and uh, if everything goes okay, more next year. So uh, we'll be doing that. And... Um, we're gonna make a, a la we're gonna put it in a bowl, make a lather, and bring it to the face. Talk about the results. So stay tuned for that. Don't go away. Okay, so as you can see, here's the bowl, and it's uh, it's empty. And this is the soap that we're going to be using today. It's called the Quiet Man. It's based on Creed's Green Irish Tweed. If you didn't know that, and this is the tallow version. And you can see that it is very pliable, and we can put it right into the bowl like that. So that's what we're going to be doing with this. And the razor that we're going to be using is the Occam's razor. And the brush is going to be um, the wet the face brush. So let's get to it. Let's put it in the bowl and uh, do the shave. Okay, so here is the um, soap in the bowl. And I'm going to take this brush and I'll wet it a little bit. I'm gonna bring its contents into the bowl. If we need to water, if we need to water, if we need to add more water, I will do so. So I'm gonna start uh, creating the lather, so here it goes. So this is our tallow version. And uh, just gonna add a little bit of water. And that scent is coming right out. We've gotten great feedback with our tallow version. We first started with pucks, and they went quite well. But people were asking for um, the soft soaps. They didn't like the, uh, you know, what do you do with a puck after it's done kind of deal. So they'd rather have a tub. So, that's when we went back to the drawing board with the formula and we created a tallow based soft soap, which you see right in front of you. And you can see that allow this quite well. So let's bring this. <laughs> so let's uh, bring this to the face and do the shave. Okay, so as you can see, I have about five to six days growth. So let me wet the face. Anybody that's in New Orleans, we're praying for you. Um, we know that there's another hurricane headed right to New Orleans, and you'll be in our thoughts and prayers, that's for sure. So here is the, uh, the lather, and uh, let's apply it here. Just going to do some circular motions. You can see how creamy it is. The scent is coming out. Right, oop, there. It's all going all over. Okay. You can see a lot a lot of lather left to do a couple more passes if you so desire. Here is the razor. Let me just uh, wet it a little bit. And 
let's do the shave. So here we go. Very nice. Very slick. So, I've been watching a couple of Netflix shows. One is uh, The Departed. It takes place in like 1946 Berlin. There's like two brothers. And uh, one is a cop who comes to Berlin to uh, organize uh, organize uh, the um, the police there because the war is over, but there's a lot of chaos. And um, in doing so, he also tries to find his brother. And I'm not going to tell you like what happens, but. His brother's not stable, right? So you can you can see what's probably going to happen. Um, it was really incredible. I liked it. Had a nice plot twist. Um, just just good all around. Um, good um, series. I think it's going to be a series. It kind of left with a cliffhanger in a sense and uh, I hope it comes back because it was entertaining and another another one that I found interesting peek into this person's life was a documentary called Val it is uh, about Val Kilmer and he really uh, opens up as to what happened to him. Um, it's sad in a way. Shit happens to people and it doesn't matter who they are. You know, he got, he has, uh, he got cancer and they had to remove, uh, you know, he got cancer of the throat or something and the operation that had they had to perform um, screwed up his vocal cords. And of course that ended pretty much ended his career. He's the same age as I am. He's 61. He's going to be turning 62. I think uh, by the end of the year. It's just sad to see someone like that guy. I remember him playing in the doors. He was just amazing in that particular movie. And of course, Top Gun which he actually went back for. They said Tom wanted him in the movie. When I say Tom, I mean Tom Cruise. All right. So check that out. Check uh, Val out. It's. Um, it's an eye opener on what he does now and how his life changed and <laughs> I'll say one to his wife um, because of his because of his uh, many obligations to creating movies because that's how he makes his money put a strain on his marriage and uh, his wife served him with divorce papers during one of his shoots. Like, I think it was in 1985 or 86. Horrible way to, to do that. But they seem to have 
gotten together. Um, he has two kids. They seem to have very level heads. Okay, well, that is that. Let me see if I have... Yes, I do. My first bottle I have made is right here. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that is something else, man. Wow, that was enjoyable. So look, this is available right now. And um, don't forget, there's uh, also the regular version that people who do not want tallow, there is a vegan version as well. So um, I had a great shave, and I hope you have a great shave, and I'll see you next week.